What's up guys, it's the Try Guy here. In today's video, I want to let you guys know what are the most important pieces of equipment that you're going to need for training indoors. So today I basically just want to go through all the gear that I bring when I go to my indoor training sessions with my team and basically just kind of let you guys know what are the most important things that you're going to want and the stuff that I've kind of learned that is really nice to have that you might not know of right off the bat when you're starting out. So whether you train indoors at your house or with a group somewhere else, this will basically be useful for anyone. Um, it's all stuff that you're kind of going to want to have. If you're training at home, it's a lot easier because if you forget something, you can easily just go grab it. But um, either way, it's really good to know what all these things are. So I'm just going to start off. I have my bag packed like I would do when I go out to my training sessions. And I'll just kind of show you guys what I've got in here. So to start off, obviously I'm not going to mention the bike and the trainer. Well, I basically just did mention the bike and the trainer. But those are the two major things. Don't forget those. Um, whether you ride on rollers or trainer, doesn't really matter. Either way, you're going to probably want most of this stuff. So starting off in my bag... First thing, cycling bib shorts. You might want to put these on before you go there, so in case there's not really an easy place to change, and just makes it a little bit quicker. Um, but you're definitely going to want bib shorts, or any other kind of cycling shorts, whether they, they don't have bibs or whatever. Number two, cycling shoes. If you don't have clipless pedals, then you're probably not going to need cycling shoes. You're going to want some sort of runners, but um, definitely don't forget these. Don't try to ride with regular runners on clipless pedals, so that just totally sucks. Um, I usually don't like to wear cycling jerseys when I'm riding indoors, so I have some sort of um, kind of like running singlet or something like that, usually sleeveless, because usually in my training, I tend to get really hot and sweaty, so having a cycling jersey just kind of makes that a little bit worse, and um, it's, you know, kind of a little bit less comfortable too, so I kind of like having the more loose fitting um, sleeveless shirts for that. It's not a big deal if you like to wear a cycling jersey, it wouldn't really make a difference. That's just kind of more of a personal preference of mine. So uh, that's that. Some sort of shirt anyways. Um, so there you go. Now one thing that um, I sometimes forget and it totally sucks when I forget is to have some sort of thin socks or cycling socks that you usually wear when you're cycling. Um, sometimes I forgot my socks and I just have to wear regular socks that I wear to like go to school or whatever every day and they tend to be way too thick and they get too sweaty super fast and then either I take them off and then you're barefoot in your shoes which isn't that nice. If you're a triathlete you got to get used to that but um, I find it a lot nicer if you have some nice thin socks or those cycling socks that kind of like go up pretty high. So either way bring some sort of socks for cycling you don't want to be stuck wearing your thick socks that you wear every day. So that's that. Next up I like to have a towel that I just kind of drape over my handlebars. That way I can wipe off the sweat off my face, off my hair or whatever. And um, it makes it a lot nicer so that you're not just dripping straight off your face onto the ground. Makes a big mess. Get stuff all over your bike too, which you don't really want. It's kind of gross and you got to clean that up. So just a nice little towel. I have a whole bunch of these towels. They say like Toyota or whatever. Whoever was sponsoring whatever race. So usually at races they like give these out at the the finish line or in your bag or whatever. Just a nice little towel. Kind of a same idea for a transition towel. I actually use these exact same ones to put in front of my bike in transition. Um, but they're just a nice size. They're perfect for wiping off your sweat. Um, and they work really well. So there we go. Uh, let's see what else you got in here. Uh, we'll keep going on with the gear. So I usually also bring running shoes. It kind of depends on how your training works, how your um, things are structured. But usually we tend to, once in a while, between the, the bike sets, we'll do run sets for our recovery instead of just spinning. That way, since we're doing triathlon, kind of gets used to the um, bike to run transition and just getting a little bit more work in both sports. So I find that it's always nice to have these. Of course, if you're training in your house, um, that might not be possible unless you have a treadmill and you want to kind of hop from the bike to the treadmill. But either way, I tend to usually have uh, running shoes in my bag as well when I go to uh, my training. Another thing that I usually like is to have some sort of uh, cap or like baseball hat like I'm wearing right now. But this one is a little bit more like ventilated and thin. And I usually just put it on just so I don't get sweat in my eyes or on my face um, instead of wearing like... I don't know, a sweatband like people used to wear in like the 80s or whatever. Um, I tend to just like to wear a hat um, and just to help keep the sweat out of my eyes. 
Um, if you don't have this problem, then it doesn't really matter. But uh, that's something I do. I usually put it on backwards too, just because, I don't know. All right, and then we're moving on to the last few things here. Um, one other thing that I like to bring is my Garmin. So um, this is kind of a no-brainer, but if you're kind of measuring your power, your cadence, your speed or whatever, you're gonna need your computer. If you just have a regular cycling computer on your uh, handlebars or whatever, that totally works fine too. But um, I tend to always have my Garmin in my bag, that way I can bring it home and charge it when I need to. So uh, yeah, that's a good thing to have. Another thing I also have in here is a watch. So I don't have a Garmin watch, so I kind of have to switch between um, both of these during my training. So if we're going running on the track, we're doing a 10 minute recovery or whatever, nice to have a watch to be able to count the 10 minutes. So I also have a running watch in my bag as well. Another thing I always have in my bag as well is my heart rate monitor. Um, if you have a Garmin or have under, uh, something else that measures your heart rate, um, you're gonna want your heart, your heart rate monitor. So that's another thing that I just keep in my bag, kind of goes with the Garmin. Now, I always like to bring a few little snacks for either before or right after, or somewhere in between, depending on how hard the set is. So I like Cliff Bars. I usually have a Cliff Bar or some sort of granola bar, uh, something like that. And then usually another piece of fruit, whether it's an apple or a banana or whatever. Usually I like to bring a couple small snacks like this just to be able to eat so I don't totally crash in between the sets or right after the workout. So those are always good to have. And then of course, your water bottle, you're not gonna to wanna to forget this, whether you put Gatorade in it or just water, you're always gonna to wanna to have at least one water bottle. Sometimes I would rather have two or at least one big one, depending on how long the sets are. Um, where we train, there's easily places to just go fill up your water bottle if you run out, so it's not a big deal. But uh, depending on which kind of situation you're training in, it might be nice just to bring two water bottles so you don't have to stop halfway to get some water. So there we go, I think that's about it. I just wanna mention one last thing here that I just kind of always have in my triathlon bag is a multi-tool. Um, whether you're fixing your own bike or you're helping somebody else with their bike, it's always good to have a multi-tool. So that's another great thing to have. So I think that's about it for um, today's video. That's all that I usually bring in my bag. Let me know in the comments down below if there's anything you guys think I forgot or other stuff I should mention in a follow-up video potentially. So thanks for watching guys. Hope this video helped you guys out and never stop trying.